The Nevada Department of Corrections is making some changes after a convicted killer was released by mistake. Jeremy Kelly was convicted of murder. He ended up in state custody in the year 2000. Because he was 15 at the time, he was paroled in 2016. He committed a violation. That's where mistakes were made. He wound up released from federal custody for the new crime. This while he still had to deal with parole violations from NDOC. NDOC is already under the microscope. This is after a different convicted killer escaped to prison northwest of the valley. Fox has Joe Viel shows us the changes that have already happened and more that are coming because of this latest incident. Doc made changes after a convicted killer escaped from Southern Desert Correctional Center back in 2022. There was a manhunt when killer Porfirio Duarte Herrera escaped undetected for a few days using a dummy to fill his bed while he snuck past a watchtower to freedom. We spoke to a former correctional officer who said that tower had been unstaffed for years. Now, as far as Jeremy Kelly goes, NDOC just announced today it will use a two-step verification process to prevent what it calls miscommunications or oversights when housing offenders with different law enforcement agencies. The department is also retraining staff when sending an offender to a new jurisdiction, which will include a memo that the offender must be returned to NDOC before being released. And reviews will be done to make sure offenders stay in custody. A reminder will also be sent to that jurisdiction not to release the offender. Now, Metro Police used license plate reader technology to track down Kelly and arrest him. That happened last Friday, and he is back in custody. For now, back to you.